what are some other signs that there might be a possible problem? What does sun scald actually look like? Sun scald looks like, I mean, if anyone's ever seen like a buck rub a tree, it's where the trunk looks tattered. Like if you see an injury on you know, on a trunk and you're like, what, what did this? It's usually a mechanical damage from someone running a mower into it or yes. a weed whacker, even a car or anything like that. Um, to like just typical vandal damage, you know, that type of stuff. A, a deer can scrape the trunk, but sun scald is usually found on the southwest side of the tree. So if you see a tree with, with sun damage on it and you're like, where is south, where is southwest? That's typically, you know, the, if the direction of the trunk is facing southwest, that's where it gets the most, like, I guess, high intensity sun exposure in the afternoons and it, and it heats that trunk up. And, um, you know, I have a black gum at the house I live at. It was planted on the street and it did get sun scald. And so in, if you have that, basically you just need to trace the wound, remove the loose and dead um, like tissue, and then it will, it will heal slowly. And so this tree I have, it took five or six years, but it closed the wound completely this year. And so if you're, you know, if you're doing all the other things, fertilizing, you're taking care of that wound, a tree that has a big trunk wound on it should, and it's young, it should be able to recover. You know, and, and sun scald doesn't happen to older trees that have thick bark. But like a beech tree, for example, it has thin bark, even when it's older. If you were to do like a very aggressive pruning to a beech tree and expose the trunk, then, then it could get sun scald as well. Hmm. Um, so it's not just for young trees, but most commonly for young trees. And then hmm. and you look on the Southwest side and, and the thing about being an arborist is trees can't talk. And so we don't know exactly what's going on. We just have to use our, use our best judgment. Uh, collect information like we're a detective and try to figure out what what could have possibly happened here and then rule out you know rule it out but the thing is is just like anything else is it oftentimes comes down to the core recommendations on how to take care of plants routine fertilization making sure the soil's in good shape and that it's the right tree for the right place given the sun exposure the, the wetness and, and and the space and all that